Whoa, man. Tornado Warnado in effect. Did I just seriously say frickin' Tornado Warnado? Oh my god, I meant warning. We have a possibility of a Tornado Warnado, so please keep all of your doorsy warsies locked and make sure to close your windows. We wouldn't want your housey wows to be blown away now, do we? I swear to god. <laughs> Hell, I'm FAO. I never reblog stuff like this, but I'm crying. <laughs> now, normally I'd be all over this and be like, oh, this Tumblr cancer person, oops, didn't mean to. But I've legitimately done a similar thing to this many times. You know, you type one word, and then you're typing the second word, and you start it off right, but then you start thinking about the first word again, and you just automatically start typing that. So this, there could be some legitimacy to this. It's very cringy, everything else about it, though. <laughs> I didn't see you guys there. I was just looking at this photo of young Gerard Way and I accidentally hit start recording on OBS. What a silly goof I did. Fuck. Welcome to Oops Didn't Mean To. I'm your guide Q-Star. Let's hop into this cringe. What if Australia actually exists? Fuck, I mean America. Atlanta. I meant Atlanta. Don't you mean Atlantis? Yes, thank you, Atlantis. This is a great example of why Tumblr is the cesspool of the internet. This is something that I, as a 15-year-old Tumblr user, would have looked at and just been like, holy shit, I can't believe they came up with so many incorrect things before someone had to tell them the thing that they were actually thinking about. Isn't the world so silly? 70,000 notes. Also, did anybody else do this? Anytime there was a solid string of replies on a post, I would always try and come up with something clever to be like that next cool reply that would go viral and give me some Tumblr clout. God, it was a pathetic time in my life. My face when Bay eats the last slice of pizza. I didn't mean to take this picture, but I'm so glad it happened. Dear Reddit trolls, one simply cannot make fun of a picture that I'm literally making fun of myself for. The phone didn't magically take the picture. The timer went off and I wasn't ready. I didn't post it because I thought I looked good, but God forbid any of y'all use common sense, lamau. All right, this is all the evidence that we need that this is a posed photo. This foot right here. Nobody does this with their foot if they're not posing for a photo. You don't just walk around the house doing little ballet feet things if you're just hanging out, not taking pictures of yourself. She totally could have, like, played this off in a cool way, too, being like, oh, I'm so glad I found this subreddit, r slash oops didn't mean to. This is really funny. I can't believe I was doing this thing and all these other people do the same exact thing. But no, instead she's just all these people are too attached to the candid, accidental nature of their photos. It's all they have in life. I'm not even going to attempt a Stephen Fry accent on this. I tried it once, and it was horrendous. So I just deleted this last post because I didn't send it. Not the worst thing that could have been sent for my name as for me, but nonetheless a bit alarming to think that I may have been hacked. Password changing now. There's something about that last line, password changing now, that just makes it seem so fake. Like, he has to give us an update on the status of his hacked account. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if five minutes later he sent a tweet saying, Password changed. Take that, hackers. That Stephen Fry tweet actually reminds me of an oops didn't mean to story from my actual real life. I remember I was 14 or 15, and there was this website, formspring.me. I don't know if you guys remember it, but it was a place for asking anonymous questions, but you could also ask questions from a public account. And one of my friends friends, let's call her Stacy, and I actually ended up going nice guy on this girl because I was 14 or 15 and it was a really dark time in my life. She asked another girl a question or just made a statement saying, fuck you, you thin-lipped bitch. Nobody would ever want you to suck their dick. You're gross. But she forgot to put it anonymous, so it just came through as a public question. And then she tried to play it off being like, Oh, my account got hacked. I love you, girly. I can't believe somebody would have said that about you. It was one of the most cringy things that's ever happened in my life. Or I guess one of the most cringy things I've ever seen, because it did not directly involve me at all. I was just stalking both of these people on Formspring. I was a strange person. You always know a post is going to be good when it comes from an account that has since been deleted. Hit me up on Kick, looking for girls who will send nudes for free or for dick pics. My Kick is Stacy Lover 6969 Your post history says that you're 13 and struggling with your faith, Lamau. Oh, fuck. I have the worst friends. Took a dare. They got my phone for 48 hours and I wasn't allowed to see what they did. Fuck. Okay, so let me just get this straight. You took a dare that your friends would have your phone for 48 hours. Who the fuck would give their friends their phone for 48 hours? It's such an unreasonable amount of time. Fucking two days of no phone and your friends just being in control of fucking everything in your life. 
You in an office on your own? No, full team. Ah, fuck. I could have sucked you off onto your table or had you bend me over it. Well, that escalated quickly. I'm straight, my man. I only want grass, not ass, lol. <laughs> Shit, sorry, man. I mixed you up with somebody else. Shit, how embarrassing. I am very, very sorry. Happens to the best of us. Don't worry, lol. Uh, I just wish I had slightly more context for the situation. I don't know if there's actually some plausibility to him texting the wrong person, because I just don't know their level of relationship whatsoever. If this was, like, the first text this guy ever sent this person, I don't know. We will never know, sadly. What we're not going to forget is that some men act nice at first to manipulate you into being with them and then show their true colors later. So do women. Never said women aren't abusive. The topic just wasn't that. I, I, no, sorry, my BF was using Twitter to mess around. I liked her tweet initially because I agree. All that last girl had to say was like, oh, I thought that you were making this an exclusively male thing. I just wanted to inform people that nice girls also exist. But no, instead she went this route to try and cover her ass for some reason. Also, who would win in a battle of Snapchat filter supremacy? Would you take heart filter big boobs or fire filter nondescript breasts? I don't know. It's It's... Definitely a, a toss-up. It's a serious battle. Let me know. Please come over. We'll have your sky-leveling run fun. What? Was saying you should come over tonight. LOL, you live in West Coast. Correct. I'm in East Coast. We can send pictures. Be naughty. Oh, man. I have a boyfriend, and I'm super happy with him. You and I weren't like that. Yeah, that was meant for someone else, starting with the same letter. I... Confused texting. Uh, okay. So somehow this guy managed to text the wrong person with the same letter beginning the name, but then he keeps getting notifications, getting texts back from this person, and doesn't realize that it's the wrong person, the wrong name. Come on, buddy, you can do better than that. See me in the paper. I'm celebrating XD. Youngest guy in Massachusetts to become a multimillionaire purely from trading stocks. Trying to talk, but nobody's awake, see? Nice, congrats. You are so fucking cute. Thanks, my boyfriend thinks so too. LOL, he should. LMAO, damn, I can buy you anything you want. You can buy yourself a one-way ticket to go fuck yourself. Bet. This is Nick's friend, by the way, LMAO. You've just been pranked. Do you mind if we use this for a YouTube video? Your reaction was literally perfect. First we had pranks in the hood with the Bradberries. Then we had Joey Salads with his All Lives Matter pranks. Now, the new hot thing is people claiming to be multi-millionaires and calling girls cute just for the lulls. All right, Oops Didn't Mean To is a little light this week. Let's look at a couple posts from R That Happened to finish this up. My boyfriend cheated on me, and I legit told his mom. She stopped paying his phone bill, car insurance, and car payment, and then took me to go get a pedicure. Ah, yes, a story as old as time. A mother and her son's ex-girlfriend that become BFFs after the son is caught cheating. What are they going to talk about, like, when they're hanging out? Like, oh, yeah, your son just ruined my life entirely. I'm never going to be the same person again because of your offspring. Uh, let's just hang out and, and shoot the shit, though, at this fucking nail salon. <laughs> Holy shit, we were looking at pictures of surgeries in class, and all of the guys were hooting at the sliced breast ones, and then the teacher switched to a penis pic where it was cut open and some 300-pound jock douchebag faded right in front of his chair. Boys are weak. Boys are fucking weak. Week. You mean to tell me that there was a goddamn cut open boob in surgery and boys were still sexualizing it? Fucking motherfucking fuck. Does no one see how fucked up this is? Ugh, I'm getting excited just thinking about this. When I want to get my rocks off, I like to look at some thinly sliced breasts. It's the only thing that can really do it for me these days. If this was actually happening in a class, don't you think the fucking teacher would reprimand these children for hooting and hollering at a cut open breast? Like, who's gonna do that? Maybe some freaking death metal freak that likes torture porn or something like that. But that would be the only person that's into that sort of thing. Nobody else would be interested. That's not a real thing. Also, no offense to death metal freaks. I used to listen to a lot of death metal. It kind of crossed the line when it turned into, like, sexual torture. I liked the violence part of it, but I didn't like the sexual violence. That always freaked me out and was really disgusting to me. Hey, I'm not gonna tell you to check me out on Twitter or Discord today. Let's just look at this beautiful picture of Gerard Way's face and understand 
understand that there's always hope. There's always something brighter in the future to look towards. And we all can do our best and roll on with our blades in our butts. No, don't put the blades in the butts. We, we fucked that up before. No blades in butts. I mean, you can put a blade in your butt if you want to, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, skate on to the best of your abilities, everybody. I truly believe in you in, as human beings, and I will see you tomorrow.